Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. It is such a pleasure to have you back with us today. Uh, Dr. Natalia was here last weekend and she has um, had such an interesting background of training and education and experiences and then she got into research and this has just been a whole new world for her and she's been explaining her research in uh, gynecology uh, with the placenta uh, obstetrics with the uh, placenta and um, one of the things that I got out of last week's program is first of all the male and the female are even different in the way they react to things in in the womb women are uh, female babies are much more adaptable uh, to changes whether it's stress or lack of nutrition and boy babies are not as adaptable and that's the way it is in real life and then the other thing that i got out of last week's program was that the more she learns the more she knows that there is still to discover about how the placenta affects the beginning of our lives and let me ask you a really beginning question if you don't get it in the wound if you don't get the serotonin or the melatonin or whatever it is you don't get because you, your uh, uh, host mother is not uh, uh, feeding you properly, getting the proper food or the exercise or they're stressed or whatever. It, can you ever catch up? Of course, of course. And this is a good thing uh, about our bodies and about nature, that you could catch up if you know where the origin of your uh, deficiency problems is, is uh -huh. or origin of the deficiency. Uh -huh. uh, of course, this is not my area of expertise. Uh -huh. However, being on the, uh, a lot of research meeting and speaking to my um, colleagues, uh, um, reading of the uh, uh, manuscripts, uh, for example, if you are given the, uh, in the animal models um, babies who are deficient in utero because of maternal obesity or maternal stress, you are given them melatonin at the particular time, or having behavioral interventions, or given particular diet, you will be uh, alleviating all of these changes which happen in utero for the future, for mm -hmm. the future development, and they will be developing normally. Very interestingly, uh, in the human studies, I think a study was done in uh, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, they showed that the early uh, learning intervention, behavioral intervention, could alleviate the results of the maternal stress and uh, disturbances, learning disturbances in maternal stress. Uh, for the uh, childhood and babies will be developing normally. You just need to know to whom to imply it because this will not work if you will just, it's like personalized medicine, personalized uh, uh, intervention. You need to know to whom to imply in order to get the results. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So and these are the problems of a lot of like clinical trials we are reading, oh, this drug doesn't work. Yeah, maybe this drug doesn't work for everybody, but for this particular individual, uh -huh. it will work, but mm -hmm. we know, need to know for whom, mm -hmm. and this is the key. Uh, that's why uh, NIH, National Institute of Health, exactly as you and I, they got excited about placenta to listen. We don't know anything about yeah. it. So as a result, NIH announced the Human Placenta Project um, with the same dimension as it was, um, as you might remember, the Human Genome Project, where we did see for all yes, genome. Yes. So now this is the time for Human Placenta Project. Mm -hmm. So last year, NIH invested $42 million uh, to, uh, into the project all over the states for research, for research mm -hmm. of the placenta, mm -hmm. and it's uh, developing now and uh, having the even bigger dimension in these coming years, uh, research strategic plans of NIH just came out for 2016, uh, 2020, and uh, placental study, of course, are priorities. And we are very happy that we are on the top uh, of the uh, development, of the research development, oh. and we could make a difference. Uh -huh. We could make a difference. Right out here in West Texas. In West but Texas tell particularly. Me, yeah. Tell me about your work. When, when you're uh, doing your research, 
And you said we're looking at the shape of a placenta, mm -hmm. and that tells us some clues. But are you looking at a placenta laying on the desk? Are you looking at a placenta through x-ray machines of a pregnant woman? So my research is on the placenta outside of the body. Okay. So I'm looking at the placenta outside of uh -huh. the body with the different measurements. Uh -huh. And uh, very interestingly, uh, we have collaboration with NASA, uh -huh. believe or not, uh, to evaluate placental vessel structure. Uh, we are using their technology to uh, make the uh, judgment about the placental vessels uh, in uh, uh, humans and it's of course a research it's just a, in stage of the development but it's in line with NIH goals to develop the new methodology uh, back in 1962 we didn't have a lot and still we didn't have a lot of methods how to evaluate placenta so the first step mm -hmm. to develop new methods like you spoke x-ray or ultrasound evaluation, we need to know how and what to evaluate. Uh -huh. So this is my goal, yeah. to figure out what we could evaluate uh -huh. and uh, uh, how we could apply new technology and later on translate it to the clinical uh -huh. practice. So this is called translational research, uh, as opposed to the clinical research where you are using, for example, already established methodology like ultrasound and uh, could measure the placenta, uh -huh. but my uh, particular research is a translational research for the future, mm -hmm. for development mm -hmm. of the future technologies. Mm -hmm. And to so make then you'll judgment. be teaching doctors. All practically, of, yes, yeah. practically, yeah. yes. And um, it's very interesting that you mentioned here in West Texas, because I think uh, here, in the, at the Permian Basin, we are in the best position to make the difference. And I explain to you why. Because uh, the uh, big institution, uh, like uh, in the New York, in the uh, bigger centers, large centers, Houston, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Dallas, here in Texas, they have the huge investment uh, which they are made in the technologies. And the technologies are developing so quickly that uh, you couldn't just uh, uh, go ahead of them and they have these huge capacities which are already practically out to date. Here we don't have this luggage. We <laughs> could really make difference with the novel technology, with the advanced uh, uh, collaboration such as NASA collaboration uh -huh. and this is really well, what we're is We're going to take a break. Darn, we'll be back in just a minute and continue this conversation. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 